In Zambia, when women have delivered, we say, oh, you have survived. We continue to have a very high mortality in Zambia. Our women die before labor, during labor, and after labor. And one of the challenges has been that less than 50% of women can access skilled delivery. A lot of women are not accessing the healthcare services on time because we have a lot of uh, women living in far away places, away from the hospital. So by the time they reach here, it, it would have been too late for them. Yes, at the facility level, so there are delays. In the past, when the woman got to the facility, one, there will be issues to do with equipment may not be readily available. Even the actual drugs needed for them to attend to the, to the lady may not be readily available at that point. So they would come to the clinic, they would come to the facility, but then they would not be able to get the service that they need most. Where do women die? They die soon after delivery. So you see why skilled deliveries is of uttermost important. What we are doing in the Saving Mothers Giving Lives really hinges on reducing those delays. And so we have a system at the community level, we have introduced a structure of the uh, Safe Motherhood Action Groups. These are mothers and the fathers that are serving the community. And we train them, we provide a basic training so that mothers are easily identified early enough and encouraged to go to health facility to seek uh, services for the well-being of the mother and the well-being of the child. The U.S. government put funds for us to be used in four districts so that we can, in those four districts, reduce mortality by 50% by using well-known interventions, treating women, helping women deliver in facilities, doing quality antenatal care, and the whole package. So we have impact on retraining the staff, providing them with basic skills, for instance, uh, the emergency obstetrical and neonatal care. We've also been able to provide uh, training uh, for the Helping Babies Breathe, which is focused on resuscitation of the, the newborn. The training has helped me uh, in so many ways, in that supposing a woman comes in labor, I know what to do. And if there's any complication, I know how to go about it in order to help this woman and probably save her life as well as the babies. Almost all these initiatives are related to the saving mothers giving lives. Russian partners are very important because as a country we will not be able to meet all these obligations without international support. The partnership with the US government is important to Zambia because we started a long journey, and we can't do it alone. It's very, very costly, and we need the support from the US government so that every woman can look forward to labor and not say, I may die. I'm hoping that uh, these programs should not come to an end and that they should continue. When a mother dies in a community, it's really sad. It's a sad situation. If a woman dies, the nation dies with that uh, woman because the nation starts from the family, and we know that the woman in Zambia is the one who provides in a lot of respects. What I've heard from the women is that uh, when they deliver, they go back home confident that they have a healthy baby, and their lives were handled by um, professionals. They know that even when they get pregnant next time, they'll be given the best of care. 